We are up at about 10,000 feet for this comparison of foam versus inflatable sleeping pads. Let me just say as a little bit of context that I've actually been sleeping in the backcountry for 40 years now. I'm about uh, 46 years old and I think my first backpacking trip I was five years old. Uh, back in the 70s we used a piece of kind of cruddy foam and uh, after that foam, I transitioned to a Thermarest pad. And I used the Thermarest for over 20 years. Just the traditional uh, Thermarest uh, three-quarter length at one point. Then I had a Thermarest ultralight. And I really liked those pads, uh, but they leaked on me over the years. And as you know, pads have sort of been updated. So this kind of stuff is more typical these days. So you can see we've got three pads set up. Uh, one is this Thermarest z light. This is one of these folding uh, foam pads, silver on one side, gold on the other. Then we've got two big big Agnes pads. Uh, one is the Aircore Ultra, this yellow one. Uh, it's 20 by 66. And the other is a, is a, um, a big Agnes Aircore, and it is 20 by 66 by 3.25. All right, pros and cons of some of these pads. Um, this foam pad is, uh, the best things about it are that uh, it's really light. It's actually half the weight um, of these other inflatable mattresses and uh, not only is it really light but it's super easy to pack up um, stick on your bag and unpack so if you're doing like a through hike where you're packing every day it's just so easy to pull this thing off your pack and throw it out and throw it out on the ground or in your tent and um, be ready to go uh, these guys a negative is that it takes some time to huff them up you know, you do spend some time blowing them up. If you have a base camp situation, that's really not that big a deal because you blow them up and you just sort of tune them up if they need a little more air over the days. But if you're doing it every day, it's a little bit of a pain. Uh, the best things about these pads is that they're way more comfortable. These inflatable mattresses, no doubt about it, are way more comfortable than the foam. Um, I've slept on both, we actually all have, and all of us agree that these inflatable mattresses are way more comfortable. The downside, of these is that they're not as warm as a really warm Thermarest pad because they just don't have the foam insulation. So uh, if you're buying a pad, check the R value. Um, this one is probably colder than these guys, but you know what you gain here is weight. It's just so much lighter than these, um, but still these are lightweight pads. All right, uh, two more things that are really awesome about these pads, these inflatable mattresses, is that they pack down really, really small. So uh, in your pack, you can easily throw one of these guys. You know, they pack down into a, a, just a really small little duffel bag. This one does not pack down very small at all. It ends up being a big old cube. And uh, I always just end up tying it to the outside of my pack because it's so big. So if you're, if you're, if you're in the back country and that's gonna work for you, great if you have the room. But say you're gonna travel abroad and you need some uh, you need to be able to pack, put everything into your backpack. I would go with one of these inflatable mattresses. Size comparison. Uh, this is the foam pad all packed up, and this is that uh, Aircore Ultra from Big Agnes. I always want to say Big Bertha. You can just see the size difference. Well, this is twice as heavy. It is size-wise about the third the size, maybe a fifth the size. So packs down a lot smaller and this Thermarest uh, foam pad, which I will put in a stuff sack here in a second. The only other negative I would say about these inflatable mattresses is that you can get a leak. So you gotta be really careful where you set them up. Keep your tent clean, make sure there aren't any pine needles and whatnot, because um, once you get a leak, you're kind of screwed. I've patched these before, um, but you generally, even to find the hole, need to put them in some still water to find the hole and uh, put a patch on there. All right, so those are my thoughts on foam versus inflatable mattresses in the backcountry. I think they're all, they all have some pluses and minuses. Currently, I've been sleeping on the foam mattress, and I like it because it's just no nonsense. It's not going to leak. I don't have to fill it up. But it's definitely not as comfortable as these uh, bigger inflatable mattresses. More comfort with those guys. But then the negative of the foam mattress, like I said, is that it's big and bulky. All right, uh, hit me with some comments down below. I'm sure people have a lot of different ideas about camping in the wilderness. I know some people go without a pad. Um, some people go with double pads, etc. So it'd be cool to see some other thoughts in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, over here, I'll put some 
uh, links to my other backpacking videos. I've got a bunch of different videos about backpacking food and whatnot. Uh, check out my playlist about backpacking videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.